God is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. God, God is good. good. God is Amen. good. Yes. Now, we are in the middle, we're on the second part of a series. I did part one. A time to seek God. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about seeking God and the importance of seeking God. And last week we talked about the need to seek God and to seek Him aggressively. Excuse me. We are on this track of excuse me, being aggressive in our walk with God, being intentional in our walk with God. The enemy for too long has been bouncing us upside the wall and beating us upside our head because we really don't know who we are. Mm. So when he throw anything at us, we, we follow that. Mm -hmm. We are into changing the way we think. Because if you change the way you think, you change who you are. Amen. And we need to seek God aggressively. It don't make sense coming into the kingdom of God and not knowing who you are. Amen. What you're able to do. Who you can be in Him. And it's all about living our best for Him. The thing is, we have to change our minds because this world paints a different picture mm -hmm. of what best is supposed to look like. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, come on. Amen? Yeah. Amen. And we have learned some stuff, but when we come to Christ, we have to unlearn some stuff mm -hmm. yes. and learn some new stuff. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, we got to seek after the one who knows the stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where it is. In secular life, we understand this fully. Because when we pursue a career, we go after that aggressively. Finding out everything we need to find out about it to what? Be the best that we can be in it. Right? So that's why we have to seek after God aggressively. And we talked about working out our salvation. And how do we do that? by going to the source of our salvation, which is the Word of God, where we renew our minds. We're not talking about getting saved, because you can't work on getting saved. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? That's a gift of, from God. Amen. But once you get saved, and you say, I am a believer, now you have to go and possess yes. what yes. you just professed. Yes. 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 Am I making sense? Yes. yes. We talked about this last week. Yes. We also talked about how many times we're waiting on God to move and who God waiting on? <laughs> Faith without works is what? Dead. So you say, I'm waiting on God to move with God, so I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. And we have to aggressively go after God because He came after us aggressively. Amen. The Word tells us that it is not His wish that any of us Perish. And he's going to do whatever it is he needs to do to get our attention. Amen. So we can choose him. Mm. And after choosing him, learn of him. Amen. And to learn of him is to seek him aggressively. Amen. 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 Then we talked about, remember we went into Jeremiah. Once we got saved and we start seeking him, then we learn something magnificent. And that was, he knew us. Amen. Remember? Mm -hmm. And another reason to seek him aggressively is because if you want to know who you are, then go after the one who knows. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Remember he said to Jeremiah, I knew you before you were born in your mother's womb. <laughs> he knows. You think your wife knows. You think your husband knows. You think your children know. But there's someone who knows you better than all of them. Amen. Because remember we talked about we don't even know our own selves. Amen. Amen. Because we say, I'm not going to do that. And two yes. years later, you're doing it and enjoying it. <laughs> Amen? So true. So now we aggressively go after him because he knows us. And we need to find out who we are. And the only place he can tell us that it's God. Amen. Amen? Amen. Mm. Now, you got some people who will make an attempt to tell you who you are. And you got to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. That's not the report you want to believe. Mm -hmm. You want to believe God's report. 
We seek after God because he first sought after us. And I want to use a story from the Bible as an example. But before we do that, I want to go to our base scripture that we air. <coughs> I do have a scripture here, right? Okay. Can we stand, please? And let's read our scripture from last week. And it's taken from let's, yeah, Philippians chapter 3, verse 7 to 11. Let's read together. I once thought these things were valuable, but now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have discarded everything else, counting it all garbage, so that I can gain Christ and become one with him. I no longer count my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of being in right with himself depends on faith. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, share him in his death, so that one way or another I will experience the resurrection from the dead. Lord, the word is already blessed. We want to hear from you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Paul says, I counted garbage. Nothing is as important as gaining Christ. Amen. But to gain Christ, you have to seek Him. Yes. And people talk about <coughs> wanting more of God. Mm -hmm. And what do we say? If you want more of God, you have to do what? Make room for God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Anything you want, you got to make room for. Amen. You can't run off at your mouth, I want this, I want this. I want. You got to make room for it. <coughs> Amen. I want to use a story in the Bible to, to show the example of God aggressively coming after us. And it's taken from Genesis. Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, the man and his wife heard the Lord God walking about in the garden. God came walking through the garden, looking for Adam. You know, sometimes when I think about this, it's a serious place we lost with God. You know. We used to walk with God. Mm -hmm. Mm. We lost that place because of sin. Mm. Mm. But this is the place God had with us. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. well, maybe it's just me to think about things. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say, part that right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. God came looking Look. for Adam. Adam wasn't looking for God. God was looking for him. Mm. In fact, in this moment, if we read on, they were going in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Amen? Because mm -hmm. they heard it, but they ran. Because mm -hmm. they messed up. Mm -hmm. It's the same with salvation. God aggressively seeks us. In John chapter 15, verse 16, you didn't choose me. I chose you. Mm -hmm. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another scripture says, skip one, one slide and go to John 6.44. For no one can come to me unless what? The Father who sent me draws <laughs> He gave us the gift of repentance. Simply because it is not his wish that any perish. Mm -hmm. After he gets your attention, now he wants you to make the choice. Mm -hmm. 
But he will do whatever he needs to do to get your attention. So he draws us through the Holy Spirit. Mm. Because he don't want nobody to does not have an opportunity to get in. Amen? Amen. Now you still have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. But he can throw himself in front of you. Mm -hmm. Now if you walk around him, that's on, that's on you. Mm -hmm. But you can't say you didn't mm -hmm. sense the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. You feel that pull. He chose us. He chose us. He said, and he said it, and he meant it. Go back one. In verse 9. Then the Lord God called out to the man, Where are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's the aggressor here? Mm -hmm. God. God is the aggressor. Mm -hmm. Even after the man mess up and run, mm -hmm. he's still calling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all get this? Mm -hmm. You think God, all knowing, all wise, didn't know what happened? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. You know he know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. But even after knowing what happened, what did he do? Mm. He still came. Mm. Yes. After the fallen man. Yes. Mm. Yeah. You see? And he's still doing it today. Mm -hmm. Still doing it. Huh? Amen. Amen. Still doing it today. Amen. Seeking us. Amen. Just like he saw that man who done mess up. Adam, where are you? you? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, just like we do today, Adam start with all the excuses. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it was. See, I ain't say that. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. You know, you already do it. Right, Kelly? <laughs> But you know, we got all kinds of excuses. Well, I was born on Tuesday, because if I was born on Friday, like everybody else would be different. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. But well, when my mother was pregnant, she tripped and fell. So something happened, and I came out different. You know? Excuse me. We always have an excuse. Always. But God still pursues us. Because it is not his wish that we perish. Mm -hmm. And that is why we have to aggressively seek him because he came after us. Mm -hmm. And you know, we do just what we want to do. As men, when our eye capture that beautiful young lady, she in trouble. Mm -hmm. Because we intend to run her down. <laughs> amen? Amen. Who, who, don't look at me like that. Oh, I said brother. amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we pursue aggressively. Aggressive. Because we want to know more. Mm -hmm. We want to get to know that person. And not only that, pursuing that person becomes the highlight of our lives. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it's not work. Are you understand what I'm saying? It's, no work. it's something that you want to do. Amen. That is what God wants. For. If it's work for us, it ain't gonna work. Right, right. Mm -hmm. True. We pursue him because we see that as the highlight of our lives. Mm -hmm. We are pursuing something special. Mm -hmm. We want to know him in every aspect of our lives. Mm -hmm. And all the things that we consider important. You think of the things that you put to the side and kick to the curb to pursue that woman. Hmm. Things that were important, wasn't important once she came into the picture. <coughs> yeah. You dropped them like a hot potato. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but isn't that what Paul said? Mm -hmm. I count them all as... You need to read the word. If you just read that. Mm -hmm. I count it all as what? Garbage. Garbage. To gain who? Christ. Christ. Same thing. If you want him, pursue him. Seek him. And once you do that, what does Matthew 6 and 33 say? Seek ye first the kingdom. Loud. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the world. You know something? We don't 
you don't read this book here. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that I may say it different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But is it not in here? Yes. When we seek Him, yeah. He gives us what we need. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is saying to us, there's no way you can seek me and I don't reward you. Because mm -hmm. God can't lie. Amen. So, if you seek him, you'll find him. <coughs> All right, around. You right? Yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added Amen. to you. God is... His main thing is coming after us. God found us, even men, looking for us when we weren't even looking for Him. Amen. We were in sin. Amen. Going in the opposite direction. And He snatched us from the pit of hell. Amen. Mm -hmm. Christ died for us when we weren't even thinking for Him. Yeah. About Him. Made a way for us. He aggressively pursued us. He didn't just say, well, maybe one day he'll come around. No. He pursued us like he pursued Adam. Adam, where are you? Amen? Amen. Amen. We need to pursue God to complete us. God don't need us to complete him. We need him to complete us. Amen. Amen. And God is seeking after a fallen man. Now just think about it. The man that mess up. Mm -hmm. You all know the story. Mm -hmm. But he still wants that man. What man? The fallen man. <laughs> what man? The man that disobeyed him. What man? The mess up man. But God, that man, I don't care. That's the one I want. Mm -hmm. The mess up one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he pursued us in spite of us. Amen. Amen. And because he pursued us, now we need to aggressively pursue him. Mm. Restoration. Amen. 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 I want that one, the mess up one. Verse ten. I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. <coughs> Excuses. Mm -hmm. We still doing it today. Yeah. Excuses. Mm -hmm. But in spite of that, he still pursued. Mm -hmm. He still pursued and came after the man. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to aggressively pursue him. If you and I want to break those strongholds in our lives that the devil keep using over our life, mm -hmm. we're going to have to make God a priority. Mm -hmm. You can talk this thing all you want, mm -hmm. but if God is not a priority and you're not aggressively seeking Him, stuff that could happen for you won't happen for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Things that you could do, you won't even do because you won't even know that you could do it mm -hmm. with God in your life. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So true. We keep ourselves ignorant. Mm -hmm. That's a strong word, huh? Mm -hmm. Now don't walk up here and say, Pastor, call me ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that. <laughs> Amen? Amen. But we do ourselves an injustice when we don't find who we are. And you hear me say that all the time. And we use so much excuses. Well, my daddy left me and I didn't know he had a mommy and I had daddy love and I blah, 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 blah. And God is saying, you don't need all them things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seek me. Mm -hmm. And that void, which is already a God void anyhow, mm -hmm. only I can feel that. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Daddy, come to the real daddy. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Aggressively seek him. We need to start looking harder. So we can be better. I like that. It's all about living God's best for our lives. Yeah. This is what this is about. Being able to live and navigate through these times the way God wants us to. 
Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen. And the Word teaches us that. But we have to go after that and get it. It's there for us. We seek in everything else. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the yeah. Bible tells us, seek the kingdom of God first. first. Mm -hmm. Out of all things, that's right, tell him. That's right. Hebrews says, He rewards those who what? They were just seeking him. We know that this Bible is the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And it cannot, are you all hearing me? Mm -hmm. It cannot lie. Amen. The second you think that this lying to you, you're in trouble. If we're not going to stand on this through faith, we're in trouble. And the word says, if we diligently seek him, he will what? He will reward us. And he rewards us by giving us what we need and able to make it through whatever it is we need. Yes. Yes. This life. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's what we get. Mm -hmm. It's not the way. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. That's your reward. Mm -hmm. The knowledge that God will show you and direct all his words come around right back to the same thing. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord of what? Oh, Lord. 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 And lean on what? Lord. But acknowledge him in all your ways. And he will what? Direct your path. It does the same thing. <laughs> we right back to the same place. Can't lie. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, when I was, when I got saved, teen child, I had a real encounter with God, and I wanted to know as much as I could about Him. And the, the program would take us around to different churches and stuff, and I used to buy these ministers and they would minister the Word of God and just what they could gain from God's Word. And when it was an altar call, I used to run up to the altar. <laughs> because I wanted what they had. But I learned, you don't get that through divine osmosis. <laughs> Amen? Amen? No, 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 no. You got to go to the Word for yourself. See, somebody else anointing is their anointing. Amen. And they can pray on you all they want. Mm -hmm. But if you don't pick up this book and find out what God is saying, you ain't have it. Amen. Because that's the problem now with so many weak Christians. Amen. Ain't nobody doing it for themselves. Somebody want to lay on their hands and expect it to just drop. In their life. Come on now, come on, come on with that truth. That's right. So true. It don't work that way. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you gotta be careful even with passed down information. Yes. Yes. Because even ministers, if you read the word of God for yourself, the second they go off course, you know. Why? You know. Because mm -hmm. you're reading the word of God yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes, you hear it from the Spirit of God through them, but that should not be the only source that you're getting. Amen. 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 Everybody needs to go and seek God for himself. Amen. Woo. So true. You want to emulate, some, emulate someone? Woo. Emulate Christ. Amen. Yeah, Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. And I try my best to do the best that I can do. But be careful following me. Amen. Because I got my moments too. Uh, <laughs> Amen. But you know, we just read that last week when Paul says, and it frees me up. I have not attained these things yet. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's a shouting word for me. Amen. Amen. Because like I said last week, if the man who wrote most of the Bible say he ain't perfect, mm -hmm. well, I don't feel shame saying I'm perfect. Amen. Amen. But I am trying, and he says, I press. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Press Amen. Amen. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. I'm still a work in progress, Ooh. but Amen. I'm trying. He says, I press. I'm it yet. And when we come to God, to find out who we are, He's going to start telling us some stuff. Matthew. 
you're going to start reading things like this. Wherever your treasure is, there the desire of your heart will also be. Amen. So true. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food or drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? I mean, isn't really speaking? Well, that's Jesus. Huh? Jesus. I just told someone the other day, worrying is like sitting in a rocking chair. You're dying something, but you ain't there no way. Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. <coughs> so don't worry about these things. Saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Mm -hmm. What will we wear? Mm -hmm. So don't worry about tomorrow, for mm -hmm. tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today is trouble enough. Mm -hmm. Today trouble is enough for today. Now listen, that don't sound nothing like what the world can tell you. Are you all hearing me? The world will tell you if you don't plan for your whatever K that is you have and, mm. and, and, and all these other stuff and all those things are good. Mm. But when they become, when they consume you to the point where that's where your hope lies, mm. then you walk away from the scripture that says, but without faith. Mm. It's possible to please him. Amen. Mm -hmm. in, this, in, in this talk, he also said, look at the lilies of the field. Mm -hmm. And he takes care of them. Mm. If we can trust God, trust God. Mm. Amen. Because his word says, trust me and I will give you. And we just say, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So if we seek him first, then he can take care of all these things. And it's not that these things aren't important. They are. The problem is people make these things so important. That's where our hope lies. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And when they are removed, we feel like our hope has been taken. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm. Amen, amen. Matthew 7. 7. <laughs> Keep on asking, mm -hmm. and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be open. Open. Mm -hmm. If you keep on asking, you'll receive what you ask. It begins with a verbal request, but it doesn't stop there. It goes on and says, seek. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between seeking and asking. Mm -hmm. Because asking is just mentioning it. Mm -hmm. Seeking now means you can go beyond just mentioning mm -hmm. it and put your faith to work. Mm -hmm. I gotta go look for it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. It goes beyond. I'm ready to get up out of my bed and find it. You know, <laughs> when I was in Teen Challenge and I got saved, I thought that was the best thing since sliced bread. You know, I knows it. Because I really didn't think there was an opportunity for me to move on and do better in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there was. And I wanted more and more and more. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank I wanted to know about the gifts of the Spirit. I wanted to know about the mm -hmm. enduring Spirit. I wanted to know about miracles. I wanted to know about all these things. I wanted to know about anointing. Mm -hmm. The thing is, y'all in this moment only get the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. This what you see now? This started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And there was something in me that needed to be fed. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know <coughs> then God was preparing me for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, they that seek after righteousness, thirst after righteousness, mm -hmm. will be what? Fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Will be filled. <coughs> but you got to seek after it. You got to go after it. Too many people just think, you say, Lord, come into my heart, and it's done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you might go there. But you can catch a lot of hell down here. Amen. Amen. We need to know how to live 
here. Yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and that ain't exempt from problems. Mm -hmm. That's knowing how to deal with problems yeah. mm -hmm. when they come. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they come in. Mm -hmm. They're here. They are here. They're here. You know, women who get pregnant should understand what it is to have something in you that needs to be fed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your eating habits change. Because yes. mm -hmm. now you feel something that needs to be fed. Yes. Is there anyone here this morning that has a passion that needs to be fed? Mm. Is there something on the inside of you that you need to feed? Yes. Amen. And go after and get to be filled. Think about it. Mm. How much do you really want mm -hmm. God? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I can say something, and I don't want y'all laughing at me. I ain't gonna laugh at y'all. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> and I'm only saying this because I want you to see how we do just what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember there was a young lady that I really, really liked. And I looked in this thing. I looked in this woman's face. And I said, I love you so much sometimes I feel like I can't breathe. Wow. Whoa, deep. <laughs> That's some deep I remember breath. saying that. Yeah. Yeah. You know something? Don't laugh, because I know some of y'all just don't want to say it. You all have to say some serious things to your partner. Yeah. Let's get real up in here now. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> when you really love that person, come on. come on now, let's get real. I'm trying to bring you to a place mm -hmm. to show you how we do what we want to do. Mm -hmm. When you really love that person, there's something in you feels like there's a disconnect mm -hmm. if you ain't with them. Mm -hmm. I'm right or wrong? That's true, man. Huh? That's true. Yes. And you know something? That's how we should feel with God. Amen. If we get up in the morning and don't pray to God, we should miss that we don't pray to God. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's true. Amen. We should miss God's acknowledging God's presence mm -hmm. in our lives on a day to day basis. Yes. Because that's the only way we're going to stay near to Him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to miss Him when we don't spend time with Him. Yes. Mm -hmm. You miss your partner when you're not with your partner. Mm -hmm. Because you love them. You, you gotta love God the same way. Amen. Amen. Do you understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you don't love him like that, you ain't gonna miss him and you ain't gonna seek him. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all. As soon as y'all leave home, y'all get in the car. As soon as you get to the car, babe, what you doing? You just walk in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? Don't look at me like, y'all know y'all like, by the time you get to the job. <laughs> Sweetie, hi, how you doing? I love you. Come on now, come on. I would talk about going a day. A day? Come on. You gotta love God. And you gotta pursue Him and you gotta seek Him. We seek the things we want. Mm -hmm. We seek the things we love. Is God in that number? Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Now, we just read asking, seeking, knocking. Now, the thing about knocking is when you knock, all knocking does is let me know someone's to the door. Mm -hmm. Knocking, you don't open the door. Mm -hmm. I want you to get this. You knock to let someone know you're there. Mm -hmm. Once they know you're there, then who opens the door? Yeah. They open the door. Yeah. Yeah. When, you, when you let God know that you are there, he will open the door. Amen. Amen. But you have to knock on the door. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes. We want doors open, we ain't knocking on. And if God wants to, he can. But I guarantee you, if you knock, he will. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? Yes. <laughs> huh? When you 
knock on the door, that door don't open. But it lets someone know you're there. Are you letting God know you're there? Huh? Are you letting God know you're there? Amen. The suit. Anyone who comes to him will be rewarded. He can't lie. God is saying, no way will you seek after me and I don't reward you. Reward you. Mm -hmm. If you diligently seek him, go after him, I don't care who you are, what you've been through, what you're up against. God says there's no way if you diligently seek him, he will not reward you. So then that makes us ask the question, if you ain't getting rewarded, maybe you need to check if you really seek it. Seek it. Amen. 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 Because mm. <laughs> huh? yes. oh. the ball in your court. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, we are not talking, I hope you all realize we're not talking about salvation. Everybody get good on that, right? Yes. Yes. Because too many times we get saved and we live far below. Mm where God wants us to be. Mm. Mm. We never live in our potential. Because the word, when you use that word potential, they attach that to material things right. immediately. And it's not that material things may not follow. Mm -hmm. But that's not what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Being the best that you can be in God. That's reaching your potential in Him. And He says, if you seek me first, them things the world talking about, they running after and doing all their crap with. Mm -hmm. If I see it as being the best for you, I will give that to you because I don't need to go through the channels they go through. Mm -hmm. Step one, step two, step three. Mm -hmm. When I'm ready to bless you, I'll jump from one straight to ten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're seeking me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am the priority. Mm -hmm. You don't see your education or the things as your source. I am your source. Mm -hmm. And it's not that those things aren't good. But I bless you with the ability to get your education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We seek him. We need to seek him. I don't know of anyone who has ever been successful in anything that they've pursued and they didn't diligently seek after it. How do you start a business? You gotta be diligent. Mm -hmm. Am I right or wrong? Right, right. We seek after God because He sought after us, and it's important. It's very important. Remember the strength. Put the slide up. Remember, the strength of keeping something is in the pursuit of getting it. Amen. The strength in keeping something is in the pursuit of getting it. The value has a total different value when you pursue aggressively the things you go through to get it. That's why anointing, look how easy. When you are praying in the night and reading your word and fasting and putting your plate down and denying yourself and doing all these things, and God is blessing you, someone can't look at you and say, I want what he have. Lay hands on me and give me that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't come that way. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Lay hands on you and pray that God give you a zeal to seek after him. Mm -hmm. But then after that, it's on you. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. So the strength of keeping Jesus is chasing after him, to know him, to embrace him. The more you go after, the more you know. Amen. The more you know, the more you keep. Amen? Amen. Family, we need to start chasing God. Amen. Seeking his kingdom first. He will open doors that nobody can open. <coughs> 
And he rewards those who diligently seek after him. And remember what we said last week, last slide. Don't worry about finding your purpose. If you are seeking after God, your purpose will find you. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. yes. Amen. Amen. The problem is we too like to make things happen. Mm -hmm. Where's God in all of that? Seek God and watch things happen in your life. Amen. 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 I hope that something that I've said you've been able to be able to take it and apply it to your life. Mm -hmm. Seeking God is a serious thing. Amen. You are crippling yourself by not knowing yes. who you are. Mm -hmm. And the only person stopping you from knowing who you are in Christ is you. Amen. Mm -hmm. God don't have favorites. Because the ones who seek, fine. The ones who knock, the door opens. Can we just read that? Yes. I hope we pursue God. He pursued us. Let's pursue God. And find out. Let's be the best that we can be. Amen? Amen. We live in some troubling times. People are crazy. The Bible is being fulfilled right in the front of our faces. Mm -hmm. In the last days, men will become lovers of their own selves. Mm -hmm. Everybody's selfish now. Mm -hmm. Nobody don't want to make allowances for nobody. Mm -hmm. I like blue, you like yellow, but we got the problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> and the thing about it is, the Bible tells us See, because of the differences that we all have, that's going to happen. But when that happens, we got to put certain things in place. Amen. I talk about it all the time. When somebody else's dysfunction crosses your path, Christ didn't die. And he says, I died that you may have life and have it what? In the Bible. So how do you still live the abundant life when somebody didn't mess with you? Mm -hmm. Or you can make Christ alive. There's still a way to live through that. Why? Put the principles of God into practice. Immediately. So you could get them and be a blessing to somebody's prayer. Amen. So Amen. you could get them and do what God has called you to do in spite of what that person has done to you. Amen. The Bible says forgive. Mm -hmm. Do good. Bless those. Oh. And that's what the word says. That's how we make it through. And all the Bible stories in the world and all the shouting don't mean nothing if when something happens to you, you don't know how to navigate through it. Amen. So true. And in this world, Things stuff can happen. happen. Things will happen. Amen? Mm -hmm. Stuff can happen. Mm -hmm. But how do you get up the next day and just don't be all in yourself and having a self pity party? A pity party and you can't comb your hair, you don't want to eat, you don't. Because you're so hurt. Huh? You're so hurt. Well, you got to fix your hurt. Because the person who hurt you ain't coming to fix that. Are you honest what I'm saying? We just talk about David. David went off the wall. The enemy came behind and took his family. What do you do? Come back and say, Lord, should I pursue? God say, yeah, if you want your family. Because the people who take your family ain't bringing them back. So who got to go after your family? You! So if you hurt, fix your hurt. Forgive them and do what you need to do to move on. Amen. Some people may hurt you and don't even know you. They hurt you. And you sitting there just wallowing. We're human beings, and God knows what we need to do in order to go forward. But that's what we have to do. It's this word. But if we don't seek him, we won't know. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let's seek him. It's for us. It's to make us better. Everything is for us. We need to be the best that we can be. Amen? Amen. Amen. Stop looking for someone else to blame for how you feel. Mm -hmm. 
And so I, I, I'm not saying people won't do that. Mm -hmm. But even when they do it, fix yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Fix yourself. It's the word of God. Mm -hmm. That is what we are about. Amen? Amen? I want us to take the Lord's Supper together this morning. And afterwards, is there anyone that needs special prayer? Mm -hmm. 